This is Artifacts of Mars. Um, I was ruminating last night on this whole illegal border situation, illegal flooding in this country. And I'm trying to find answers as to exactly what Obama is up to. He has to be up to something. This was orchestrated and planned. So there's no question about it. So, why is this happening? Well, if you remember, Obama, before he ever took office, said that he was going to, he wanted to have a civilian security force as powerful and as well funded as the military. Right? Remember that? Well, uh, cut to today, actually cut to a couple of years ago, when Patriots have noticed that the government was building up all sorts of weapons and hardware. I mean, just huge quantities of bullets, guns, everything else. Of course, we're told by wise liberals that it isn't happening. It's all in our imagination. All news reports are wrong, and this is just normal activity, and blah, blah, blah. Well, screw them. So, what are you going to do? Let's cut to the day. And Obama has been putting these illegal aliens in all major cities. And we don't really know exactly all of what's going on because they're not telling us. This has been done in secrecy. So, what are you going to do? Here's one of the scenarios that I envision. First, I envision a Red Dawn style invasion. That was when the story was new, but, well, relatively new. I mean, we've had this invasion for years, but not in this level. But here's the thing. One of the one of the problems is that this invasion could be a, a type of uh, red herring, a type of uh, Trojan horse thing. See, so Obama brings in these illegals. Now, at some point, when you least expect it, they're roving uh, groups of these illegals who will follow Obama to the end because he let them in, in a roof, bed, medical care, cars, all this. So Obama gives them everything they can possibly want and in return they're going to be completely loyal to him. So you wake up one day and you see groups of uh, young Hispanic males in the Department of Homeland Security outfits or fatigues, whatever. And they're going around door to door. And they'll have one English speaker with them, I'm sure. Because most of the people in this country still speak English. Well, what do you think they're going to be doing? They're going door to door with having weapons and saying, give us your guns. Of course, Obama will turn a blind eye to us because he's the one behind it. So what what you going to do? This is one of the scenarios. It's not the only scenario I'm looking at. It's hard to know what these people are, you know, thinking and saying it. Places like the Bilderberg events, but to me, that's what it looks like. That's one of the things that I'm looking at is that we'll have these roving groups of illegals organized by Obama, armed by DHS or some other government agency, probably DHS. See that? And they'll be going to go, they're going around. 
They're going to go around your homes and demand your guns. That's one of the scenarios I'm looking at. What are you going to do when that happens? You see, I figure Obama could probably fleece... I remember Katrina, and I figure Obama could probably fleece two-thirds of this country of his guns before people even wake up and what's going on. And be intimidated by the heavy armor which the government has been sending to all these government agencies, the automatic rifles, and so forth, all in the hands of these Hispanics. And I'm figuring it would be like with Katrina, only a nationwide thing. See, Katrina, the traitor Bush, went around with the National Guard and took everybody's guns to stop them from being able to protect themselves from looters. Out here in the country we have a uh, saying, you loot, we shoot. But anyway, so what are you going to do when you see this happen? You going to sound the alarm or are you going to stay silent? Remember, it will be group squads of illegals wearing some kind of uniform that could be fatigues, it could be DHS, could be anything, who knows, with this bunch. Kind of a Red Dawn scenario except that the president, the uh, resident of the White House, I don't call him the president, will be behind it. The resident of the White House will be behind it, but will claim well, this is just an accident. Uh, they don't mean any harm. Uh, uh, just give them your guns. They'll make you safer. Blah, blah, blah. That's what you're facing, folks. Make no mistake. That's one of the possibilities. It's not the only one. I'm trying to read Obama and figure out what he's doing. That's what I'm doing here. He's up to something. The guy is twisted and warped and evil. And as for what his actual intentions are, who knows? That's one of the scenarios I'm looking at. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching, and remember that you are living in a soft tyranny. Let's not make it a hard tyranny.